the only thing I can compare it to is uh, like a breakup. That feeling of waking up in the morning when somebody has broken up with you the day before and you wake up in the morning and at first you wake up and you sit up and you feel all right and then the knowledge of what's happened kind of seeps back in and this weight, you take this weight on that you just it can't shake. Make time was something we had started in Florida and we decided when we got here, El Dorado had a real need for something for children to do. Um, it really is, it's who I've decided to be. Um, and so without it, I kind of feel lost. I've spent the last three years working twice as hard as I ever did as a teacher and not taking a paycheck. My family has been dragged through all of that to the point where we've had to adjust to living on one person's uh, income. Last summer, we had our first really successful summer, brought in $60,000. I spent every bit of that money on more equipment to provide better things for my community. Knowing that this year, we would do as good as that, if not better. And that at that point, I would take money out of make time, pay off all the debts that I have, and get to pay myself finally. Maybe not a lot, but something. And having COVID hit when it did completely wiped that. And we had big plans for expanding into this building, creating an art center. I mean, we're paying our lease here and not losing this space so that when all of this is done, we can come back and hopefully build this into the community center that we know it can be.